Hello, welcome back to another episode of You're On Loudspeaker. Whoop, whoop. And as promised, we will be talking about the duh, 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 OnlyFans. OnlyFans. If you don't know what OnlyFans is, it is a site where you can... Um, Pop your pussy. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. You can basically post whatever you want really um and people pay a, a pers- like a subscription to your account mm-hmm. and they can pay to see extra content or whatever some people use it for normal things and some people use it to promote their bodies mm, body bodies <laughs> What is your first opinion on OnlyFans? Like, if you heard one of your friends was doing it, or happened. anything, then what would your first response be? Fair play. Mm. Like, honestly, because it has happened one of our friends. Like, she kept it a secret, because she thought that everyone, and I understand that, she thought everyone would, like, judge Be judgmental. Her. And then, but... I didn't hear it from her. I heard it from one of my other friends that was like, oh, you know, like, we found this out, but, like, she's obviously been keeping... And it's like... So rather than go to her and ask her and tell her, hey, cool with it, like, Mm. good for you, you're spreading it. Yeah, behind. So I just think, if you're going to do it, my only thing is, like, everyone can do whatever the fuck they want, and fair play to women for capitalising on men being perverts yeah that's a generalization (laughs) but um but if you're gonna do it i feel like you need to own it oh 100 percent. you have to own it i feel like that's where people go wrong well in a way it's not wrong because i understand because there is that judging side of things where people are like oh she does that like what the fuck but realistically if you was gonna get the same amount of money that these women are getting it is very inviting it's like do but you know women, how easy that is to do but like, women can't win anyway because yeah. it's like you just can't like i i do understand it and i like <coughs> sorry i get it but like even women that aren't doing that still get stick like yeah. whatever fucking women do it's like yeah someone's going to have an opinion I about think it it's like it. everyone wants to be independent now. Everyone wants to be like, oh, I'm getting my own money. I'm doing this, 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 and this. But there isn't as much. Um, obviously, you can be a girl boss in any industry. Like, mm. you, you fully can. But I would say there's less opportunity to become really, really, really higher up for a woman unless it there's is something with something sexual. to do with mm-hmm. a man or like do you, do you know what i mean and i feel like that's really unfair so i feel like with only fans is a chance to it's take like that power back yeah. you're like yeah you know mm. what you're paying a certain amount a month you're the one that's paying for it yeah. like i'm just doing what a woman needs to do do you know what i mean yeah but I personally think that I will never judge someone for doing OnlyFans. There's obviously problems that come along with OnlyFans. Like there's people who will judge you. People may use your content. Mm. Um, it might get like about your family might not like it just because, you know. But like, that's what I'm saying when I say own it. I don't even mean to like people that are going to like acquaintances or friends that are going to chat mm. shit. Like you have to be prepared for like everyone dad to see. Yeah. Or, like, do you know what I mean? Like. But I feel like... But that's the same with, like, porn stars, though. Yeah. Like... So it's like... Any form of, like, sexualized work mm. is gonna come with that. But it's, like, if you have the confidence and, like, mm. the... Like, know yourself enough to be like, I'm making yeah. really good money. This is what I want to do. It doesn't affect me. I don't feel like anything's yeah. being taken from me. Like, actually, if anything, I feel more powerful that I am in control. Yeah of how my body is seen. I think if you can do that, I think it's very few people that probably can do it without feeling some of the negative side effects or yeah. like are really like emotionally ready. But if you can, I think that's fucking great. And do you know what it is? I feel like a lot of people will say that they're ready for that sort of stuff, but then when it's actually happening, it's a bit overwhelming and they'll be like, oh my God, mm-hmm. I didn't expect this. But it's like, that comes with anything. I feel like even just 
in normal society without OnlyFans and without Pornhub and all of them things mm. that people can possibly do, I feel like women get judged anyway. So what's the fucking point? Just fucking do your thing. And if someone's got something to say about it, okay, cool. But are you making 110 grand a year off your dick? No. But not even that. Like, I feel like the only people I'm talking, okay, let's talk a heterosexual woman. Mm. One of them does OnlyFans. One of them's watching or commenting on the other woman. Like, in my head, if you have a comment about that, you're insecure about yourself. Like, why yeah. do you? Why are you even <coughs> concerning yourself? Because let's be honest, the people that are paying, the majority of people that are paying, are men. Oh yeah, like heterosexual. Yeah, men. hundred. Like, so why? I don't know, as a woman, you should be like, yeah, cool, good for you. It like yeah. this whole, it's frustrating because this whole like female empowerment thing, I think a lot There's of people like, like to sides, brag the term and like be like, yeah, no, like I'm a girl's girl and like empowerment. But then you won't support women doing whatever they want. Exactly. It's like, oh, we're, we're powerful. You shouldn't have to show off your body to yeah. do this and this. But if a girl does that, you're not praising her for doing what she yeah. needs to do. It's like, you're just judging, which again, isn't supportive of the fact that a woman if, should be able to do whatever she wants. I wants. think if you're really all for women, you'd be like, cool. If it makes you happy, that should be it. Like if it makes you yeah. happy and like you're cool with it. No, definitely. I haven't got a fucking comment about it. Like no one, I just, I, just, I don't know. I really don't know. It's a shame because also like I think about like when you make that decision, to put yourself out there in that way, like that's there forever. Like yeah. you might never lose that. And there might come a point in your life, like you can't see 20, 30 years ahead. And it might not be the case, but it might get to a point where you wish you didn't have that reputation anymore or people mm. hadn't seen that certain part of you or whatever. And that's not gonna be for everyone, but like you have to be prepared that that is gonna stick with you and that's gonna be out there yeah. forever. Yeah. Like you could imagine like it you're is, 60, it is a you've big got thing grandkids and you've got fucking 500,000 subscribers on fucking OnlyFans from mm. like, it's it's crazy. But if you can deal with that, I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't do it, but mm. like, but I don't knock people that do, you know? Would you do it? I don't know. I, I mean, I think I'd be capable of doing it and I reckon I'd make a lot of money from it. Mm. But the thing is, is like, I personally have had like a very judgmental past mm -hmm. where people have been able to say things that, that have happened to me or, and to, it affected me when I was younger. Now, not so much. So I feel like I could do it. Yeah. I just wouldn't just because I know some of the stuff that's happened to other people and I've seen how it's affected them. Mm -hmm. I personally am quite strong in those sort of situations. I'm not too bothered by if someone's got an opinion about me. I don't really care about what people will say about me. Mm -hmm. It's more the fact that like, I know that in what I actually want to do, people may think of me in a certain type of way, which could affect if I wanted a job somewhere yeah. where, you know, you're going to be with higher power people or whatever. I don't want that to become a topic of conversation when I've got things more important to talk about. Do you know what I mean? I would happily do it. And I would never, I don't judge people for doing it at all. And I personally, I think if you want to do it, do it a hundred percent. I think it's a good thing to do. Um, and it's like easy money. But at the same time, I do think it's like, there are so many other jobs that you can do. So I wouldn't just choose the easy option. I would, I know it's not 100% easy. I'm not saying it's easy, but it's like, it's easier than- I feel like the biggest, the biggest like um, challenge of it is the emotional- Oh yeah, like definitely. The thick skin that you need. Yeah. Like, and having the time to create content oh, and yeah, having like to do it like content. I mean, if you're like an overly sexualized person mm -hmm. and you do have a high sex drive and whatever, then it is probably something that's a lot easier for you. But, but obviously even sometimes, even if you feel shit, imagine you're like, oh fuck, I need to post something today. Look and at you us just making a shit. podcast. Sometimes we'll come in and be like, <laughs> we have to record this today. Yeah. But we're not in the best. Like, yeah, like something will be going on outside. And that's not, requiring the mm. same energy as doing stuff Some like extra that. extra stuff. Yeah. So like no, that 
to know that you've got like because pe- I think people overlook con- content creators has become such a like term now and it doesn't yeah. always mean but like if you're a real content creator and that is like your job or your role or a big part of how you make your money I think people underestimate the time and effort and the like brain power that oh, goes definitely. into making good content definitely and there's so much to it like it's annoying that people just think oh you know oh that's easy like yeah yeah like look at i don't know like even like like the best only fans accounts they're not using their fucking iphone and do you know what i mean like yeah there's full-blown production yeah. that goes into that there's investment there's so many things so i think cats off to people and it's marketing at the end of the yeah. day it's marketing like and they use socials a lot as well exactly it's like, that's what it is it's sort of you're there in front of the public eye and it's like whether you have the time to market yourself which is hard anyway because you're pre- pretty much doing the same thing you're doing in your content mm. but it's like slightly less yeah visible you're basically but you're still having to look nice every day and and yeah. having to go out so if people see you out they can be like oh well, she's beautiful or mm. she's this she's that it's still keeping up to that male people gaze talk about- is that you have to look a certain way so it's yeah. like the constant, if you feel ill for a week, you're not gonna go out, you're not gonna look like sexy, for example. Yeah. You're not gonna be feeling your best. Mm. Are you gonna be wanting to, you know, shove a few things up your, your VJ and take a video? <laughs> and that's the thing as well. No. Like people don't think about that. If that's your full-time job mm. and you're ill for a week and you like can't, you're missing out on yeah. however much money you're like, you're, you're the people that pay for your content, your yeah. members or subscribers or whatever, they, like, it's a whole thing. You have to be so consistent. Yeah, otherwise and you lose them. you're not always going to be in the, exactly, like. Yeah. People say that being an influencer is hard and blah, blah, blah. There's so many fucking influencers now mm. and the struggle is, must be so real. But like, this is, I in my opinion, 10 times harder. Because mm. you, you're an influencer, but then with everything else on top as well. Yeah. I don't know. 100%. I just, but like even Kim Kardashian, look at her, she's done how much in the last 20 years? Mm. And people still say, yeah, but you got famous off a sex tape. Yeah, but I've seen you suck dick. Yeah, but did it. And like, it's like, okay, cool. Everyone yeah. has. And fair play to her. She's so like fucking what? owned it and whatever. And yeah. Then, you, know. you know why? That's why I think it's like, <clears throat> if you really are going to judge someone for something that everyone does on a normal fucking basis, yes, mm. you may not get a camera out in front of you mm. to do it and you may not want someone to film you or whatever, but she didn't even want that to be filmed and showed people mm-hmm. and it still did, but look at her career. So you cannot fucking judge her mm-hmm. for something that every everybody does i'm mm. sorry like every single person has sucked a dick in their life <laughs> like everyone has or done something with someone do you know what i mean it's mm. it's not something that's not normal so it's like if you don't like that don't fucking comment on it like mm. you don't have to speak about it yeah. if you don't like someone else enjoying themselves and doing something that's normal mm. don't comment Mm. just don't have anything to say about it and then i feel like there won't be that constant oh am i gonna get judged because i want to do that no who gives a fuck sorry you're paying you're the one that's spending your money your hard earned money to come and look at my body you can get girls for free out there you know (laughs) there's girls out there that are for free do you know what i mean like you can meet a nice girl and do this, this, but because your mind is on oh i want to i want to pay money to see what she's you are putting money in her pocket. You think she's not going to do that? Do you think that's cheating? Sorry, I know it's a little bit off topic. <laughs> but do you think that's cheating? If, if your man was, like, paying... But like, um. porn, I'm not talking about porn. I'm talking about subscribing to a person on OnlyFans. Not cheating, but do you think it's disrespectful? I think, in a way, it's disrespectful, but at the same time, it's, it's like if you're watching the same person on, like, porn, do you get it? Like, some people are like, oh, I like this oh. one person. To me, personally, I'm only going to get annoyed if you then go follow them on the gram. Like, that's disrespectful, uh, isn't uh. it? That's dis- Why are you trying to see when they're posting, do you get yeah, it? But do you, know- you can do all of that, as I've said before, in your private time. If you want to, yeah, without <laughs> other people knowing... Yeah? yeah, that you want to watch this one particular person or subscribe or do whatever you're doing, yeah? That is fine. As long as I'm still getting my my time with you, that's cool. As long as I don't know fully that you're doing it. Obviously, I know you're going to watch porn. I'm not stupid. But yeah. if you're physically going out of your way to follow a girl 
who who does only fans or whatever and post those sort of content on instagram as well don't be doing that you can do that in your private time that's the only time when i think it's disrespectful I other think, than other than that i think you know what everyone watches porn it's it can't i can't be bothered by that no no agreed i would take more offense to i think <laughs> i'd take offense whatever but um <laughs> i'll be honest i'm psycho um but i would take more offense to them um subscribing than following them on instagram because you're paying when was the last time we got a mcdonald's when was the last time you bought me a coffee and you're paying yeah. for this fucking girl instagram's free do you know what i mean you're paying yeah, but then seven pound 99 see. a month have you paid your netflix though have you paid your Amazon Prime? See, Have I you paid your Spotify? Because really you've got ads like in your that. fucking music. Because there's people that will pay for content that you wouldn't even know about. Like, you can do the chats. Like, they've got open chats. They've got live cam. They've got everything. Like, mm. do you think people don't put money in to do that just to just to see certain things? It's not, it's not because... Like I still think it's not because in it's a relationship. free, but yeah, like, but people will still do it because on Instagram you get you can't post explicit images, mm. so they think, oh, what does she post behind the thing? It's worth paying five pound a month mm. because I'm gonna see this and this, and that's someone that I personally find attractive and whatever. Because you've got to remember, men think very very differently to women. You see, when <laughs> women have sex, it's more emotional. Men, they'll not and they're gone, it's done, Post you get it, clarity. it's not, it's not like as emotionally, it's not like they're like, oh my God, I'm in love with this girl. So in a way, if we was maybe subscribing to a man, it's that different. would be a bit more like, oh, but why? Because she must really think she, like he's something different. Do you know what I mean? Cause we're not, we're not gonna be like, oh, oh I need to quickly just do my thing and then, <laughs> then I can go out. Do you know what I mean? It's like yeah. men have that constantly on their brain. I think as soon as it's interactive, like you were saying with like chats and stuff, as soon as you're actively, like you're not just watching whatever, like you're you're paying to talk to someone, you're paying for this, you're paying for that, and like you're you're actually. But you've got to remember, a lot of these, like, what am I here? A lot of then? these OnlyFans girls, yeah, will have someone that manages their page, and that's the so, maddest thing. You're paying to talk to. So you're talking to probably a man. <laughs> that knows what to say to men. Yeah. Because personally, I know men, yeah. I know a few people who have managed OnlyFans people. Really? And they have said, I literally sit there at night time and oh. I get a percentage of what they get because all I'm doing is replying to horny men because I know how to market to a man yeah, because yeah. I am a man myself. It's like females, we can do all the content in sense. the world and we can do that. But that's why OnlyFans is so powerful because it's like, the whole reason it exists is because men cannot get vagina out of their head. Yeah. They cannot not think about sex for more than, you know, like maybe four or five times a day, if not more. Mm. Like they're gonna think about it at some point. I it's just see. inside their heads. So for me personally, I feel like OnlyFans is only there because men are making a market for it. Like you said, there's a market because men are physically putting money into that market. It's like anything that you want to buy into. Like beer, for example. If no one bought beer, there'd be no beer market. But then you're putting money into OnlyFans and then complaining the girls are doing OnlyFans. But realistically, you have created that market. You as men has made it so easy for us to make money off of you that we're like, yeah, fuck it. I'm going to go do OnlyFans because so, yeah. I can make 10 bags in one month. Yeah. And that's, yeah, and I'm that's, doing that. Are you mad? Ten this, bags in one month when I'm getting paid minimum wage to do something else, because and you're judging me. You're paying your good hard word money. Yeah, you've worked hard for that money, and you're telling me I should be working hard for my money when you are making it so easy yeah. accessible to me to get ten bags a month. But that's the thing. That's that's I think crazy. What a lot of that that whole like shame and judgment is sometimes even a subconscious. That's how like instant reaction traditional values like the society that we're in is that should be private these women are promiscuous da, 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 da. they're like the standard yeah. values but this is what this is what is difficult because there's a certain elements that i believe that sex is a, mm. an intimate thing and it is like i'm not going to get into like the whole airy fairy stuff but society is built on tearing women down regardless of what they're doing mm. got a job not good enough you're not getting paid as much as men mm. selling your pussy not good enough you're a slut like whatever yeah. you do 
There's always there judge- is shame and judgment judging. and guilt attached. Like women are the most guilt ridden people. It's like. When a man has sex with loads of girls, he's, oh, he's so yeah. sick. Like, he's a legend, all this. But when a female wants to do the same thing, you're judged and for it's, it. But it's intimidating, I think, when a woman <coughs> reclaims that power oh, and does something like OnlyFans because it's like, shit, they're capitalising on the fact that we and you think know what's the maddest dicks. thing? You see the guys that say, oh, I would never date a girl who does OnlyFans. You're the ones that are paying for the subscriptions. So yes, you may not date them, but they they don't need you to date them. They've got money, like they have mm. big money now. Mm. So it makes it makes me angry sometimes where it's like, if if you hadn't put the money there in the first place, people would not be doing it. People are like, oh, this girl's making bare money on OnlyFans, but that's all she does, she pops pussy. Okay, cool, and you're a failed rapper who has to now work in McDonald's, so who's winning? Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, you're cussing out a girl for, for using what she already has for free. Mm. This is a whole body that you are given. Yeah. And like, I you're judging them for making money off a market that you, as men, have created. Have created yeah. You cannot judge someone for that. I um, watched Chris Rock's Against My Will um, mm. recent like stand up thing. And he, sp- he did like a segment where he spoke about um, um, like female beauty. And he said that it's the most like valued commodity like mm. on the planet. And he used the example of like, if Beyonce was working in Burger King, mm. she could still bag Jay Z because she's yeah as every a talent aside and whatever she's beautiful. beautiful. If Jay Z is working, working in Burger King, he's not getting anything near Beyonce, and like that is the like I think that throughout time I think men have been threatened by the power that oh, women 100. have over them and so have tried to suppress that because they don't want 100%. to feel like a woman's got something over them. Vagina is the most powerful We source. literally bring life into the world. We bring life into the world and you're trying to tell me I can't make money off that. It's mad. It's Obviously not like, like filming d- myself give birth, but you know. There's people who do that though. That's, That's my point. That you know the weirdest thing is the the things that you see on OnlyFans and the things that you see in porn in general, yeah? Mm. There is such weird categories, but where do you think these categories come from? Because they don't come from us. They come from men. Yeah. So you're being like, "Oh, she's weird. She did this this is this." Okay, cool, but you, there's she someone out a there. Market, yeah. She's filling a market for something <clears> that you <throat> wrongens, yeah, wanted to to watch. <laughs> so you cannot complain. I want to find, I'm trying to look it up, but I can't really find um, <coughs> the statistic of men subscribers on OnlyFans as opposed to, or paying Okay, well, members. I've got some quotes. Ooh, tell I've me. I've got some quotes. Um, this is from a news article. This is from yesterday. So one news article, there's like four different ones, mm-hmm. just about OnlyFans. The first one is, lawyer quits to become an OnlyFans performer and now makes more money. Do you know how much money a lawyer makes a year? And you're making more money doing that. So you have taken yourself from a lawyer to doing OnlyFans. What does that show you? There's such a bigger market and you're going to get more money because there's so many people that are like, yeah, I'm going to subscribe. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's like that in itself is crazy because it's like that's a high powered role that you have you've accomplished. That's a lot of years doing the work to to do that. And then you're going, no, let me switch over to OnlyFans because I'm going to get more money. That's a power play because you've already got the power there yeah. and you thought, fuck it, you know what? Brains and beauty. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Literally. That is crazy. The next one was, I scraped by on benefits before joining OnlyFans and now I am so rich that I don't have to even think about worries, like anything to worry about money. So like going from benefits to then being able to, to buy whatever you want with no worry. You, you don't have to think, oh, well, do well, I have money left for rent? Or blah, blah, blah. you've got so much money that you just don't care anymore. You're just like, yeah. fuck it. That's crazy. It can change your life. It's just yeah. like how men become footballers. Like, yes, you have to have a bit of skill and whatever, but it's like you get paid like 230 mil to be a player. Yeah. 
that's the same with women. It's the same thing. We're yeah. just using what we have been given yeah. and there's a market for. Like and you can you can change your entire life. Like, there will never be a time when men don't want vagina. <laughs> Ever. True. But it's so funny as well, because we're having this whole conversation and it's like very centered around women. When is there ever these kind of conversations about men on OnlyFans? Because there's male content creators too. Apparently no, th now this is like what I've got one here. Men. I've got one here. It says there's a judge. Yeah, and this is another one to do with judges. There was a judge and he was moonlighting. So like obviously behind the scenes, he was doing OnlyFans. Um, and he was fired for unprofessional behavior. So <laughs> for a woman to do it, it's... Oh, it's normal. But if a man's to do it, maybe they get judged more because it's like you actually have I don't better opportunities. Personally, I, I don't think I wouldn't men get judge judged. Either. I wouldn't judge either, either, either. But either. <laughs> I don't think men get judged as much because you don't even oh, fucking hear about it. There's like you, you do if you look for it, but it's not in common. Yeah. Like when people talk about OnlyFans, they talk about women. Yeah. Like they don't talk about the men that are doing. There it. was a statistic. And do you know what's mad as well is men. The men on OnlyFans are only getting men subscribers. So you're not getting judged for something that some people see as, as wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Which obviously now is obviously like, is more normal than anything. But if you're judging a woman for being like sexualized, yeah? Mm. But you're then doing the sexualizing and you may have subscribers that are men and as a male. Mm. And you're telling me that you're not gonna get judged because of the way that men think. It just shows it. how low women are considered. yeah and i think that's crazy like like men now do whatever they want you can be gay so openly and i love that i want everyone yeah. to be like oh my god he's gay like yes yes, yes 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 but you see like as a woman we can't even be sexual heterosexually rather but lesbian oh that's cool yeah, yeah you're a lesbian that's sick oh right, right, right. that's sexy like i like that why am i sexualized for how i like so something but then guys are just you can do whatever you want apparently According to this <laughs> facts, this um, it's from the twenty first of March, twenty twenty three. Apparently, um, approximately twenty percent of content creators on the platform are now men. So, Ooh. for a fifth, I don't know why that must be so long. A fifth, the one but thing you don't is, hear about it as like, but there's a no lot of the men creators are men with women. That's, That's true why. as well. You gotta use a woman to make the money that a woman can make exactly. on her own. You prick. Exactly, which is why they they <laughs> they are utilizing themselves. It's the same with like these chat, like the uh, live chat things you can do where like the girl does the thing and you can chat and whatever. It's like people are now creating their own companies that do this with women, mm. but you have to have the woman to do it. So I know a few people who do OnlyFans that are men but they only do it with women. So it's like videos of them with women and yeah. people are paying because they want to watch them have sex with a female. Yeah, It's not necessarily to do with him. Mm. It can be obviously, but I think it's, they're using the market. Oh, men want to watch girls get fucked or yeah. do whatever or be sexualized or whatever. And they've, they've gone, you know what? I'm going to jump on that because it's easy for a man to take a video and post it up with a female. I'm gonna get views, I'm gonna get money. It's a bit like what Tiger did. Yeah. He he had the OnlyFans, he makes bread off OnlyFans mm. and he's never in the content. He's just there when girls are doing things. That's and, bad. And you get money off of that. Like obviously That's he bad. pays the people to be there and whatever, but you are utilizing of a market that was created by men. Yeah. With for women, women are now taking over and then you're using you're that. They're like, oh, like, hey. <laughs> I think girls are, are whores for doing it, but what a way to make money. Come over here and join my thing and we can make money together. So you want to be judgmental, but you're jumping on the same bandwagon. So really you have no chat for females that do OnlyFans. Mm. And that's why it's like, you're judging females, but men are doing it too. So we should have that conversation where it's like, you know what, men are actually doing the same thing. It should be an open, yeah, it's true. I just don't think it ever will be because... Well, it is today. Just We've <laughs> just told you. <laughs> exactly. You heard it here first. Um, but yeah, I just... Even... I don't know. I think it's a positive... I, I'm i sure... I, I don't know if it was Louis Theroux. It might not have been. But there was something that I watched about... 
it was I think she was an ex porn star and oh, yeah. she made an OnlyFans and she was basically just talking about like how toxic the porn industry can be and basically mm. you don't you're you're an actress or an actor or whatever mm. like you are working for someone else whereas mm. now you're in charge of the money obviously OnlyFans take a certain amount yeah of, you gotta pay taxes on it as well yeah but you're in charge of how hard you work reflects on how much money you're getting and you market yourself you're in charge of how you look you're in charge of like the creative mm. concepts like everything is in your hands and you can reclaim that power and it's not someone else's yeah you're not someone else's thing to to mess yeah. with and i think that that is a really positive thing yeah you can take ownership exactly and it's like it's your body exactly so why shouldn't you it's do like you it's want? like when artists talk about being signed to record labels and how this you're like you're trapped in all of these things yeah and like people have really come out about it recently like and then there's independent artists that can kind of just do what that they want. Like go, oh, I've done this, I've hit this mark being independent, but yeah. when we want to do it, it's not okay. I just, it's a tricky one. It is a tricky one. I Because uh, I'm going to be controversial. It's not that controversial, but like, I don't know if it's the way that I've been conditioned. I don't know if it's like a subconscious thing, but I do believe that like, again, I don't give a shit what other people do mm. like as long as it doesn't concern me yeah like so it i pay no mind to the fact that people do i couldn't give a shit if one of my friends did it like whatever i don't care mm. but for me if someone was to ask me if i would do it i do believe that sex for men and for women i i believe in monogamy and keeping that stuff like special mm. because just in general uh, again our society but our society is so sexualized oh yeah like 100%. everything is advertised like everything that the media puts out and then that obviously trickles down For into like gaze. everyone just in general social media now like it's all got a sexual something if you look hard enough mm. And that actually, I don't believe that is how it is meant to be. I don't think that that is a good thing. I don't think everything should be so overtly sexual. And I'm not knocking anyone that does OnlyFans because they're just, that is what it mm. is. Like, that's not something that I think is really going to change. So why not make the most of it? Like, I completely get that. But for me, like, in my head, I wouldn't do it for myself because that, to me, is still something that's quite, should be like yeah. sacred and well, not in like a religious that's way. One thing that I was gonna put f like forward is like I wouldn't do it just because I know that I'd rather have that just for my man. Mm -hmm. Do you get it? Mm. Don't get me wrong, I will do the most for him, mm. but it's like, do I want every single man that subscribes to me to, to see something that? may may or may not be more special to someone else you know mm. what i mean it's like yes i wouldn't do it if i had a man would i do it if i was single i don't know it depends like i feel like i generally think that my body in as such is like i would rather it be more private 100 mm -hmm. percent. but at the same time it's like i would i will never knock someone for doing that because mm. it's like that's that's your body in it yeah. at the end of the day you can do what you exactly. want and it is like the, our society is very sexualized i feel like everyone and is everyone trying to look is sex just sexy at some point like yeah like and of course everyone is navigating just like life and just doing the best they can and if that's the choice that you've made then fair play but like i just yeah i don't know like i can still for me i can still feel good about myself and be sexy mm. without literally doing sexual things mm. if that makes sense like i can i would wear whatever going out like i don't i just i just do what feels comfortable for me and sometimes that isn't or well, it isn't only fans and it isn't you know like I, I don't know it's it's a difficult one but i think don't get me wrong this goes for both genders as well community dick 
not a bit of me. Like it's it's the same principle as mm. well. I want to feel like that exclusivity is reciprocated. Like not everyone, if mm. everyone got to see that side of my man, I wouldn't like it. So I can assume that it would be the, and I think for men it's obviously a much deeper thing, but I wouldn't like that either. Like mm. why are we, t- why, like let's have an open relationship. Well, let's uh, call him now and ask him what he would do. Should we call him? Yeah. I think it's a good idea. Call what him and ask. Oh, I say hello. Uh, good morning. I just wanted I to ask, like. what is your opinion on like OnlyFans? If I was to say I was going to do it, what, would, what you, would you do? What would you do firstly, and what would you think? All right, let's see if he answers. Yeah, because you know, I was. It's funny because I knew this was the topic today, and I was thinking on my way to work. I'll talk about this first. And I was thinking on my way to work, like how. I would feel mm. if he was to say he was in OnlyFans. And do you know what? I would laugh and then I'd be like, fair enough. You're doing solo content. You're not <laughs> You're not mm, capitalizing on women here. You can mm. do solo content. Good for you. Good for you. If that's what you want to do, fine. I actually don't think it would bother me. Someone once asked me, and I won't say who it is, you probably you'll know who I'm talking about. Um, uh-huh. They had asked me if it was okay for when we was together, um, if he could do OnlyFans and cover his face and it's all of not- this. And I was like, okay, so what if I was to do it? And the first thing he said was, yeah, but you're a woman. And I was like, okay, we'll put it in that context then. If you want to do it, then I'll do it. We'll make it fair. And that was my first my first thing where I was like, that's how I would feel. Right, all right, cool. I'll be cool with it if you want me to do the same thing. That's fine. But like in a relationship, personally, I wouldn't be comfortable with someone doing that. If it was me and them together, maybe if we both had things covered or whatever. But yeah. again, I would rather that be special. So I wouldn't do it unless I really, really, really needed to like, or like I, I had no, nothing left. Yeah. And I had to do it, then I would do it. But it's the fact that you're asking me if you can do it, but then disrespecting me by saying, that well, you, you can't can. do it. It's double standards, yeah. Yeah, stop the double but standards. Just... Like, if you want to get your cook out, then I will do the same thing. <laughs> or get your cook get out. My cook out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, I don't know. It just made me laugh on the way to it because I was thinking like, first of all, <laughs> I would never be a conversation. <laughs> but... It would be fine. I though. genuinely, like, I don't think it would, unless, like I said, you couldn't be making content with anyone else. Absolutely not. Yeah, because that's cheating. You're not replying to your little subscribers. They can be fans from afar. Like, mm. as long as you're like keeping it professional and just putting out what you want to put out, <laughs> fine. Fine. Yeah. Don't show your face though, because then people, like, that then is an association to me. And then somehow I'm still gonna end up getting. Do you yeah. get it? Like, cause your man, di- like, it's so yeah, frustrating. But I watch your man's dick every day. Cool. I'm like, yeah, and I get and it. I- <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good for you. But then I guess that's the same thing. I'd be it's his like, social media manager. It's some, my job. Some Perfect. man like the fact that their girls are pretty, and they're like, yeah, you can look at her because she's beautiful. But mm. you are not getting her. I get to do this to her every yeah. single day. But that's the thing. It's like, that's whether you are like more of like a jealous it, person or not. That's the thing. It's a certain level of like trust and security. Oh, 100%. Like you can't be doing this in an insecure or an unstable or whatever relationship where there's like a lack of trust. Yeah. I just think it's fun. Like, honestly, I know it's bad. And like, this is kind of a double standard. I just think it's funny to think of men just on their own on OnlyFans. <laughs> like, if my boyfriend asked me, I'd literally be like, it's your life. Go for Do it, whatever hun. you're doing. Go on. I'll get the ring light out. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon the pun. Oh my God. Right, let's call him and see if he answers then. Yeah. I want like a it's male's still perspective. Asleep, fucking bum. Joking. Hello. Hi. You right? Yeah, you? Yeah, okay. I have a question for you. What? And I want a serious answer. Okay. Um, What would you do if I told you that I was starting OnlyFans? What? 
What would you do? I'm not. Obviously. I said, what? <laughs> I'm saying, no. Why? No, you can't. It's not a wrong that. answer, but why? Skinning out on the internet. <laughs> okay, what about if... Um, what do you think about men doing OnlyFans? I think it's a bit cheesy. So why why is it why can they have skin out, but not women? Because men, men can't really skin out. It is the same thing. Men can't skin out. They can. <laughs> <laughs> men can't skin out. Hmm. So that's a, that's a no on the OnlyFans then. Yeah, it's a hard no. But what if I made like a hundred grand a week? No, you, you, I, I, I retired you. Oh no, man! The skin out to do it. Tasteful, high production value. Kind of a tasteful only fan. <laughs> well, I don't know. You, might be able to. you sound like you know a lot about it. Oh the fuck all about mm. only fans. That's good news. <laughs> I like that. All right, I'll give you a call after this. All right, All right. You love you, bye. Aww. Skin out. Skin <laughs> out. <laughs> um, that's crazy. That shows the double standard, though, doesn't it? Should I call Amy and see? Amy's going to be like, yes, queen. Let's see, because <laughs> then we get a male's point of view. Yeah. Because Amy's basically my boyfriend, but she's a girl. My boyfriend, though, is very, um, like, reserved. Even, like, in himself, like, in general, mm. he's very, like, he won't talk to his. We've had this conversation. You know, a lot of guys talk, do like talk guy talking. Like, and like yeah. he's like, I, it makes me feel sick. He's like, my friend once tried to tell me about his sex life with his girlfriend, and I was like, stop fucking talking. Mm. Which I think is quite, I, I like that. It's respectful. I'd prefer yeah. that to someone being like, yeah, my girlfriend, yeah, she's sick. Like, yeah. I don't want your friend to know that I do them things in it. Yeah. I don't want them to know I'm a freak. I just want them to know you're looked after. And then we can leave it there, you know? Just know, you know. Yeah, just say, she looks after me. Yeah. Did he just message you? He's... Ra um, guys, I'm... Free plug. Please sponsor us. Um, there's this app. Oh, that's really cute. Oh. Um, there's this app called Agape. If you're in a relationship... <laughs> I think they actually do it for, like, friendships as well. Um, it can be, like, platonic relationships. But they send you... There's a free version and a premium version. If you have the free version they send you daily prompts or like questions and you and your partner are linked on the account and once you've both responded you can see each other's answers and some of the prompts are really cute and today's was um what do you value most in your partner in your relationship and it's really good it's good for relationship wellness so go and buy it and i'm unfortunately not getting paid to say that Unfortunately. I'm going to make a cut down of this and then they can sponsor us. Okay, cool. Right, Amy. Let me try call Amy. She, she's never, ever picks up her phone. <laughs> My last question is, do you think, as quote unquote by someone said, was there is going to be a tragic future for women? Because society now is so sexualized with OnlyFans, with porn, with like you know everything else. Do no, you think, think there's going to be a man tragic? Write that? Yeah. Sums it up. We haven't had. We've had a pretty tragic past and present. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, mm. if you categorize women having ownership over their bodies and the way they make money as tragic. It's tragic for men that they don't have that power anymore. I think that's it. Like I said, I believe in, you know, the sacredness of all of that stuff. Like, for men and women, I think mm. that there's a part of, like, sexual relationships that should be private, it should be intimate, it should be special. And, you know, I agree with all of that. But to say that women's futures is tragic because of things like OnlyFans... Which you pay for. Is that not it's tragic? Like it's giving bitter man 
Oh, 100%. It's giving can't get pussy. Sorry. It's giving <laughs> pays for prostitutes. It's giving eating cold tins of beans on a Wednesday night. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's giving receding oh. hairline. Oh, it is. It's giving <laughs> receding hairline energy. Like, what was the abbreviation yeah. of that? If you've got a small dick, Ra- just say it. R H E. Receding hairline. Energy. Energy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's honestly, giving small dick energy. If you've got a small dick, just tell us. Like, you if don't you have to... the smallest dick in the world and you have to to degrade women and talk about them in a disgusting way to make yourself feel like you've got a bigger cock, yeah? I fuck just, off. Do you know what? I find it funny. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> just fuck off. <laughs> fuck Charlie. <laughs> fuck his stupid face, yeah? yeah? And fuck the fucking lot, yeah? Um, Literally, no, I, all I just, mankind. I think... I think that's a funny comment, to be honest. <laughs> like, it's not looking good, bruv. It's not. Do you know what I mean? Like, for women in general, like, we got the vote a hundred years ago. My history might be off there, but I'm pretty sure that's about right. A mm. hundred years. We still don't get paid the same as men in the majority of yeah. places. Like, we are shamed. And if you get a good job role and you keep getting, like... um like a raise or you get your, like your your title changed or whatever people are like oh she's definitely fucking the boss or she's doing this and this and it's you like get shamed you know what actually i'm just very hard working thank you very much you get shamed criticized regardless you can work really hard and not have a baby and people wonder why and think you're a work freak you can stop your career to go and have children and people think that you're an idiot and you should have worked harder and cared about your career like you cannot win it is, it's not tragic. I think things are improving, obviously. And I think actually in terms of the idea of female empowerment and changing the narrative in today's society, I think that OnlyFans is a really bold move. Yeah. I just would rather that society wasn't like that in the first place that was so overtly sexual that women had to reclaim power in that way. It mm. would be nice if they could just- but You know what I think is- Be people. I think women are really, really clever. I think we're so clever because we have taken something that we know men cannot live without and made it something that we can do because we're, we're all accessible to do it. Mm-hmm. And we have made money off it. Mm. So much money. Mm. How can you say that we're, we're this, this and this? We're clever, if anything. I'm yeah. not saying we, but I mean we as women. Yeah, We're clever. We're using the markets that you have created to to build ourselves up because you're you don't want to build us up cool we'll build ourselves up by using you and your weird looking whatever you whatever you're doing in the private time yeah yeah whatever you think is normal and you want to put money into cool we'll monetize off that then that's fine but Mm. we're clever because i don't see you lot monetizing on things that we like to do yeah they don't know they can't yeah. find the fucking clip, let you know what alone mean? what we enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> let's... <laughs> but let's have it right. How are you meant to know? Oh. How are you meant to know what a woman likes oh. when you've never seen a real <laughs> orgasm? Like, let's have it right now. You can't make us happy. Happy where? But we know Pay how to bills. make you <laughs> spend your money. Yeah. yeah. Easy. Was the 30 seconds worth the 7 99 a month? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. No. But, oh, I'm going to die. But yeah, if anything's tragic, it's that comment and the fact that you <coughs> um, probably have a really sad marriage, mm. Mr. Man. Yeah. So that's what I think about you. Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh. Oh, Amy. On time. Not always there. Hey you girl, call. you're actually on loud. You're you're on loudspeaker. So wow, that was cute. You're on loudspeaker, um, and I just wanted to say, like, if yeah. if I had come to you and I said, oh, I'm going to start an OnlyFans, what would you say? Um, let me manage it and make the content for you. Woo! Okay, and and if you had a partner, yeah, and they said to you oh, I want to do an OnlyFans. Like, bear in mind, not with you, but, like, just them on their own. What would you do? Um, kick the fuck off. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> why? Sorry, why are you showing your dick to loads of women, yeah, when that belongs to me? Yeah, true. Just, okay, would you, you ever that consider... Earning going to me? No, it's not, so no. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, and um, one more question. Um, would you ever do OnlyFans yourself? Um, yeah, probably. Only if um, I didn't give a fuck what people thought. Yeah, that's what that's we were speaking about today. About I it. think it's just not not caring about people's judgmental my fam, thoughts. Yeah, my family and everyone would be calm with it. It's like, it's like other people, do you know what I mean? And then it's the thought of like everything getting leaked. Yeah. And that's in the world. Like, that's always we need Amy on the podcast. No I know. Amy, do you want to come no, down and be yeah, part of our podcast one time? Yes, please. Okay, cool. Yeah, I want her in the Bish finale. I'm Wish I'm there. Thank you so much anyway, and I'll, I'll speak to you in like five minutes. Okay, cool question. <laughs> All right. um, I've got a question for you, actually. Ooh, okay. See, I don't oh. know the going rate. I know okay, actually people quite are putting their OnlyFans really, 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 really low because people are more like spending. But is I'm not like putting. I'm not saying that I'm worth five pound a month. Is it a monthly thing or a weekly thing? Mo you can do. I think it's monthly is the main one. Yeah. You can pay yearly as well, but obviously monthly like is more common because then you can cancel after a month if you're not. Do you know how funny it is? Pounds, because Fifty. Yeah, the men that I want to attract. If you can't pay fifty pound a month to see what I've got, yeah, you can't tip me any extras, and I don't want that. That's so true. That is good. That's difficult. That's a really hard thing to think about. How much you're you you're cost, marketing like, yourself? Your yeah. Because yeah. bruv, I'm not the same price as a fucking. Imagine cheap, being like. <laughs> behind that though the cheaper you go the more customers you get yeah, yeah but, but that's like going hey you can have yeah. my whole entire asshole for 50 pounds a month like 50 pound a month like, uh, uh, to see yeah. my ass adobe creative suites like 400 pounds a year yeah and Yeah, that's a really tricky one. I don't that's know. a really good question. And you know what? I feel like I can't even answer that myself. This is why we need her on the podcast. Yeah. She's going to start a conversation that we wouldn't even think to, yeah, to think of. Yeah, would be 50 to 80 pounds minimum. Amy? Yeah? For the season finale, do you want to come in and ask us questions? Yeah, I'm down for that. Yeah, okay, let's do it. We'll do. Okay, cool. I'm going to see who he asked. <laughs> She's gonna ask this is some she's, scary questions. She's the person that you don't want on loudspeaker. There you go. That is the that is the, literally the, how we're gonna market it. You don't want this girl on loudspeaker because she's gonna ask you bare mad you questions if I'm we your mum. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. I'll 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 um give you a shout in a bit. Yeah. All right. Love Bye. you. Bye. Love you. That's all right. Bye. <laughs> oh, she she would just say hi. <laughs> we'll put it in the um yeah we'll put it in the thing thingy. all right that's too funny i need to send her a voice note quickly oh that is so funny <laughs>
probably argue about it because I don't rate your taste in food. Just because I'm sophisticated. That's a That was that was a bit harsh. Chocolate, I'm not sure. Crisps, I don't, I'm not really a girl. chocolate person, so we'll see. Well, yeah, but I will have the best ones, but we'll. Okay. We'll get to that. Um, so yes, stay tuned. Make sure that you are subscribed to Capital Content on YouTube and you can listen to this wherever you get your podcasts and you can watch the video podcast on Spotify. Laura. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>